It don't take a lot to fetch me back. <laughs> well, you know, we couldn't go without closing our show with this little song that we've been closing our show with for such a long time now. It's kind of stuck to us. And I don't mind at all, because it's a lovely old song. And you know, people come up in the street to me and they say, that's a lovely old song, that is, they say. <laughs> and we played it at my granddad's funeral. <laughs> I don't mind if it's appropriate, you know. I mean, and I had another one didn't like that, didn't I? All things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Weddings and christenings. <laughs> Have a Nagila, the mitzvahs. My music spent more time on holy ground <laughs> than Cliff Richards has. <laughs> what? Listen, you can't bloody sing Living Dull at your granny's funeral, <laughs> can you? <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> it's so funny. We just don't talk anymore. Right, that's enough of that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again. We'll always feel so welcome here in Liverpool. And uh, just hope the wheels are on my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You couldn't bloody wait, could you, eh? <laughs> uh, I tell you what I think is funny is... You, it, uh, is <laughs> we, we did... What's that little theatre? The, 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 not the mermaid. The Neptune, we used to play there. One year I went there, and it's a funny place to get into, you know. And I got, finally got there, I got out of my car, and there was this taxi driver sitting there. So as I go in the door, he says, Hey there, John. And I turned around and I said, What? He said, That's a terrible shit. He said, <laughs> Didn't say hello or nothing. I said, Yeah, you know, and I went upstairs. And we played it again two years later. And it was the same bloke outside. <laughs> And I got out and he said, I said, tell them all shit. <laughs> These taxi drivers, they've got a great sense of humour, I tell you. The same in London, which is why I like it up here, because I think the sense of humour is very similar to the old Cockney sense of humour. Because when I got me MBE, you see, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And I, yeah, an MBE, and I had, to, I had to go and get it at the Buckingham Palace, you see. So I had to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Friday. I thought, oh, I'm not going to risk going into London in my car. I got on a train and I stayed in an hotel. And the next morning I come out of the hotel with my best suit on. I called a taxi, he come over. Oh, hello, Joe, where are you going? I said to him, take me to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> oh, he said, gets, he says, what are you going there for? I said, I'm getting an MBE. He said, oh, are you? Great, he said. So he pulls the bloody taxi up right outside the front door of Buckingham Palace. I said to him, are you sure this is where you go in when you get your MBEs? He says, this is where I went in when I got mine. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> you know what I mean, it's exactly the same. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again. Uh, we love you as usual and we'll leave you with this one. Here we go.
Yeah, 